Hey guys, so pretty recently the new Minecraft update is going to come out, uh, 1.18 I believe it is, which is the second part of Caves and Cliffs, where a bunch of new stuff is going to get added, like terrain changes, a new hostile mob, all sorts of crazy stuff, backpacks, it's another pretty big one. Uh, so, when that happens, when 1.18 comes out, or yeah, it's not going to come out soon, but we're going to get some news pretty recently because the scheduled release date is the end of 2021, which is coming up pretty soon. When that goes live... Uh, the current realm that we're in right now, which you guys have not seen, which is what this is, will be closed down. It will be restarted so that we can uh, start fresh again 1.18. Because it just feels right, you know? And I've done a lot in this world. I haven't had it documented, so I figured it would be fun to just kind of do a tour of everything in this realm. Uh, it's not nearly as big as the one that I showed last time. Uh, the last time I had Minecraft on the channel, we had a massive senior year Minecraft server. My dog is barking. But yeah, the last time you saw Minecraft on the channel was uh, a senior year one that we had back in 2020 uh, when our senior year of high school was going on. We got everyone from the senior, not everyone, but you know, a lot of people from the senior year class into the server. And we tried to really do it right. And uh, that was really fun. But this one that we're on right now, which is 1.17, uh, doesn't have nearly as many people because everyone's busy, obviously. Uh, so it's just me and one of my friends, Miles, mainly for the most part, uh, and some other people that I'm gonna take you guys to in a second here but uh, when 1.18 starts I really want to just do it right I want so badly and I've always wanted this to have like an SMP happen I just want tons of people in a Minecraft server and have a real real uh, build of things I've never really done a Minecraft server super hard and that's always something I've always wanted to do but there's never anyone to play which kind of sucks but it's alright uh, I did this one really legit like i i went all out on this server for the first time i tried to do some really uh, uh ambitious builds which is something i don't usually do uh, i usually kind of stay pretty formulaic but i'm very happy with what i've done in the server and i can't wait to start again in 1.18 but here we are in our new server uh, i'm going to take you to just a couple of places there's two really big ones me and my friend miles obviously those are the biggest bases and then uh some other things that we're going to show off first so the first thing i'm going to take us to is our villager breeder because we always do this on our servers um it's just another cool thing to have connected to the hub that makes it really easy for people starting out to kind of hop in but yeah here is what we're calling nashville which is just the villager breeder we always name them some sort of little city i just completely missed the water there but uh we had a ton of villagers in here a bunch of wow he made some more villagers i did this is not as many as there were when i was playing so you have a lot of farmers now and then these are all librarians selling the big books, Sharp 5, Proc 4, stuff like that. Bunch of cats running around. Uh, obviously, not very f finished, but we got the big books uh, squared away, so that's the main thing, basically. But, yep, this is the villager breeder. You come here, sell crops, get emeralds, buy books to get enchantments. Very cool. Next up is my brother's base. He hasn't played a ton, but we're going to check it out. I don't know if this is exactly his base, but he built this where his portal is. So I'm assuming it's his base. It's just a nice little Japanese sauna. But, like, it's not a base. I don't see any, like, chests or anything. So I'm assuming this is just something he built on his land, and he never actually did a legit base. Uh, but we got some stuff over here. Yeah, I think this is where he lives for the most part. A bunch of cows in there. Yeah, this is pretty much his base and you can actually see Nashville from his base it's over there it's cool anyway that's it for here down that way is just like a nether fortress well it actually leads to the stronghold with the end portal and also leads to a frotion so that's what that is and then I guess we can go to miles now uh, spawn isn't actually where spawn is we put the portal there because we wanted to do Spawn City, and that's something that I've always wanted to do, is Spawn City. You guys know SMP Live? I'm assuming you do. They made a big splash on YouTube a couple years ago. Um, it's exactly what I want to do with some of my closest friends, just build the shit out of a Minecraft server and just have a good time. Like, it's so... Such a big wish of mine. Anyway, here's Miles' base. As you can see... There's quite a lot here. Very impressive little beacon over there. I broke that glass on accident, so I don't tell him. But he has a ton 
of stuff in this base. This is bed. Some uh, LED light strips or whatever. All his stuff going on here. He's got a bunch of decorative buttons and levers and stuff around. And enchantment table. All of his storage. Some trees here. A dripstone farmer. I don't know why you'd need dripstone, but there it is. And here we got a little wheat field. Some uh, shepherds. Wool farm. He's all about automatic stuff. Uh, there's an aesthetic to it, but I'm trying to incorporate that less into my builds. Just because I feel like it, uh, it's kind of silly, but it's alright. Not nearly as opposed to it as I was before. A lava bucket farm? I'm assuming the dripstone falls into the cauldrons and makes it go into a hopper or something? I don't know. Uh, these are super smelters. Smelting glass that I... Those are, those are my glass that I needed for the roof of my base. Uh, melon and pumpkin farm. Minecart. Very elaborate. And then we got some carrots. This is a creeper farm. And then a slime chunk to get slime balls. This is all for just digging this out, I'm assuming. Yeah. But down there is just some redstone to push slimes into. I think that kills them. Yeah. That's what that is. Here's the creeper farm. For gunpowder. Whoops. <laughs> Mainly for uh, making fireworks. Some nice little light things in the ceiling. And then there's an iron golem farm up there. Which goes through these hoppers into these chests. But there's something else about his base. He has tons of secret rooms that he's built. Just to kind of keep himself busy on the server. The first one is right here. Whoops. Don't have to jump for it. Uh, I think this is like an aquarium. Yeah. So you got a bunch of fish and stuff. Looks pretty good. Sea lanterns. The whole shebang. <laughs> really got to take those off my my F. And then we got another one in here. This is the first one that he made. Just all his valuables. And then there's this. This is new. That he added on into this one. This is my favorite one, personally, of all his rooms that he's built. Um, okay. And then up here, we have another one. This is a uh, nether-themed room. I have a texture pack that makes the nether brick black, which I think is very nice. Anything in here? Ooh, it's picked up. Yeah. I don't want to steal it. I guess we're just gonna play. And then over here is another one. See if I can get this. There we go. Another kind of lava themed room, but not specifically nether and then I've got some green here I think it looks super nice it's got some good block variation going on there's one down here so an axolotl little room this is another old one one of the first ones he made yeah that's pretty much his base um I wasn't forgetting anything oh wait yeah there's the one up here there we go and this is I think his favorite I like it too, but I'm just not a fan of the purple and black in general. Those are kind of... Well, black is mainly the boring color, but the purple... Purple can look pretty nice with other complementary colors, but... I mean, it's it's got an aesthetic, obviously. It's just this, like, throne. Some wither skulls. Real nice. Anyway, that's his base. Now... Mine. Oh yeah, and there's a skeleton farm there. Oh, also, in the nether we have... I never finished the system, but I wanted, like, more immediate travel if you had Elytra. So I have been digging out the nether. So that you can just travel straight to someone's base. For example, mine, which is over here. And then we have these slime block jump pads. To uh, access it very quickly. Not exactly how I envisioned it. Also, this is my... My path. Kind of in theme with my blackstone base. And Blackstone is a new block. It was added in 1.17 when we launched this server. 
and I thought, wow, that block is amazing. I want to make my base out of it. So that's what I did. I made a blackstone castle. So we're going to start from the small, or what I built first, I guess. So this is what I built first. Uh, this is kind of like a hilly flower. This is kind of what it looked like all across there. And I dug. This entire trench was, you know, a place that I dug out. And this was kind of the highest peak of the mountain, so I built this at the summit. My base is <laughs> very laggy. Um, see if I can turn down. Oh yeah, render distance is pretty high. So this is my little observatory. It's kind of cute. Oh, uh, this space was a lot smaller when I started. This used to be my old chest room. It is not that anymore. Some axolotls here. And down here is a half-assed smelting room. That I never really committed to. Uh, this used to be where all my blocks were, you know, my crafting bench and everything. Brewery. Never use it. <laughs> Over here we got an enchanting room. 15 bookshelves. Uh, some nice little pillars here. I did a lot of just over decorating with like stairs and walls and stuff and slabs. I think it's awesome. I developed a whole kind of pillar system with support beams. Uh, we can go down here now. Actually, probably work from the back. Ignore all this. Over here, we got a nice little dock down to this area. Uh, this is only here because there was a zombie spawner right here. So this is a XP farm. I usually use this one just because of convenience. It's right where I need it to be. N next to my base, obviously. And there's a second one close, but not quite close enough to link them. Which kind of sucks, but there are two here very close. And then they, this is where they fall down, obviously. I guess we can do this now. This is a tree farm. Again, all of this was hills that I dug out to make this kind of 4x4, four 4 four sapling, uh, little, uh, you know, tree farm. You got the big ones, except acacia, because acacia looks awful. Oak, birch, spruce, and dark oak. Very, uh, useful, obviously. And we have a nice little tree that was here when I built it with one of my favorite quotes about the purpose of life. Uh, to see the world, things dangerous to come to. To see my walls draw closer, to find each other, and to feel. That is the purpose of life. Um, if you're a fan of my Doctor Who montage videos, there's a certain character on YouTube that I nabbed that quote from. He, he's used it in one of his, one of his more popular videos. Uh, we got a nice little animal complex here. I barely use it really, but I really liked the system. It was kind of like, it's still the holes, but we have the fences in it so the grass can get in. Even though it's not quite working with the sheep 100%. I think it's a nice system. Here's a to-do list for all sorts of stuff that I wanted to get done. I guess I've done this. And this. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff I wanted to do. That I will not be able to do. That's okay though. And then we'll we'll do the ground floor first. So that's tree farm. We've seen all of this, you know, the nether pillar is right there. You get the gist. And then we have a nice little gate here into a little little fountain area. I nabbed this from a YouTube tutorial with some elements changed. This was a stone brick water fountain that I made blackstone with iron bars. And then there's uh, panes going through the bottom so that the beacon under it can obviously work. Got some trees here. Acacia. It's fucking ugly. And then all of these pathways are uh, farms. Well, this one... This whole area kind of got <laughs> sidelined because of the travesty that is the above area. We'll get to it. But this used to be a wheat farm before I dug out the ceiling. Uh, down here is where all the hoppers end up so you can get the crops. Etc. Kind of like this system. Obviously, you flip the levers. And it all goes down. Doesn't really push them all the way. Kind of annoying. But whatever. There's that. 
the water is very loud. This dark oak sapling never grew. <laughs> uh, we'll get to this in a second, but this is kind of the bigger one that leads to the end of the base. This is carrots. Or this is carrots, and this is pumpkins. All the way down, four four layers of them. And then this is beetroot. As you can see, there's nothing here because no one cares about beetroot. Down here is where my little beacon complex is. I have a system of five beacons so that I can get all of the buffs from the beacons that I want. Speed one, because speed two is just so much. But yeah, we have five beacons here. This one is regen, haste two, strength two, resistance two, and jump boost two. And this one should be also speed one, yeah. So you have everything you need. And here we are on the second floor. Obviously we have some stairs going this way. This reminds me a lot of Resident Evil 2, the RPD. Um, I didn't actually draw inspiration from that when I was building it, but when I took a look at it when it was all finished, I was like, huh, you know, these railings and shit and this big kind of gallery floor. Very similar to Resident Evil 2's standout base thing. Anyway, we have a nice little bridge here. Again, the pane's going through so that the beacon can light up. And then a little door here to nowhere. I was going to build like an observatory to the tree farm, but never really flushed out this area. I got some bamboo over there, because why not? I'm going to turn down the game. I just can't hear myself think. Uh, and this, these redstone lamps used to light up. That's what all of this is, this kind of four thick wall. It's the redstone behind it. But it lags it a lot, so I took it out. I guess we can do the third floor now, because I got a big thing that is coming soon. Anyway, this is the kind of the highest floor. There's nothing up here, it just exists so that the, the ceiling can exist. But we got some nice Freddy Krueger esque slashes of red. I think it looks nice. It would have been cooler to make this like white or blue or even like black stained glass. But I think the red kind of complements it well enough. Uh, I guess we can get to the big thing now. So, one thing that I've never done in Minecraft that I've always wanted to do is build an automatic sorting system chest room. So, this entire build is nabbed from Shulkercraft, I believe his name. Uh, this is kind of the exact system that he did for his uh, system. Obviously, I changed it again. It was stone break. I changed it to blackstone and dark oak instead of spruce. But we got a bunch of chests here. There is a lot of redstone behind all of this. I haven't actually set up the automatic sorting system part of it, but there is a ton of redstone. Just so much redstone running into all of these chests and a hopper system taking the items round and round and then they land in the hoppers that are assigned to them and then we'll get sorted into the chests I haven't done that because I have more important things to do but that's that and here's the third floor obviously kind of a little archway this is not finished but this is for easy access to the redstone because you kind of need that. And all of this isn't really finished. I'm going to like put a wall here or something. Uh, but that's that. And then we have a nice little back end of the base. This is the second floor to the pumpkins and carrots. Some nice little decks here. Uh, this is all white stained glass because I had a bunch from when I was building a creeper farm that stood right here before I moved it because it looked ugly and stopped working. But all this, I had all this white stained glass, so I figured I would use it. So, get down here. Obviously, this is still the carrots and pumpkins. Got some ladders down to the chests. Potatoes, carrots, you get the gist. And then back here, we have my 3x3 three three, uh, quarry system, which is really cool. They're, all, they're not actually dug out to chunks. They're 10x10. Ten or 11 by 11, I should say, so that I have the ladders in the center. Because that's an odd number. But we have a ton of ore in here, a ton of diamonds, all sorts of jazz from digging down here. But it's a 
the idea that I wanted was to have a 3x3 beacon system. So that I had a grid of haste 2 beacons that I could just dig out at Y12. And it would actually look kind of cool when all the beacons were made, obviously. I've only done one and a half. But the one that I've made is pretty sick. And uh, should I finish it, it will look pretty sick in the end. To have this kind of... Well, that's upsetting. <laughs> I'll just dig through. To have this kind of beacon system. I think this looks awesome. This kind of pyramid over to the, the, the ramps leading off into where the other beacons would be in the grid system. And then you dig down to, you know, bedrock. And you find all sorts of junk down here. It is awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much my entire base. I've been in the server for about a month. And I've just been gaming pretty hard. And I can't wait to just kind of go nuts in the next one. I hope we get a ton of people and just finally get to do a spawn city or have a ton of people playing. Doubt it, but you know. There's always a chance. But that's the base. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was pretty much just for documentation purposes. But it's a pretty sick build too, so that's okay. Uh, but yeah. Bye.